Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So many of you after seeing the Kindle Paperwhite review wanted to learn about how you can send files other than EPUB and PDF inside the Kindle. So let us look into it and let's just start it. So before we get started in short, I will tell you that there are two methods in which you can send these files. First one is by using Kindle send to email feature because every Kindle comes up with a Kindle email and you can directly use your Gmail account or any email account and attach your files and then directly send to the Kindle email ID. Once you have done that, you will have to just approve a confirmation which you receive in, on your uh, Kindle registered email and after approval, the file will automatically be downloaded. This works for PDF, EPUBs and much, much more documents. I will give you a complete walkthrough for this in the later part of the video. The second method is connecting it using a USB cable to the computer, be it win Windows or Mac, anything works. Uh, there is a software called as Calibur, which works for all universal e-readers, e including the Kindle devices. So now we will look into both of these uh, methods on how you can use it and which method works best depending upon your scenarios as well. So in order to use the method of sending files to Kindle using the web, just go to Google and type send to Kindle. Over here, after seeing here, you can see, just click on the first link and make sure that you are signed in using the Amazon account, which is linked with the Kindle as well. That way, it will directly uh, send it to your Kindle as well. So as you can see here, there is a file upload. So just select the file from this over here and then you can directly select the files which you want. For example, if you can send the following files such as PDF, doc, docs, text, RTF, HTML and so on and EPUB as well. So my suggestion would be if you are trying to send a book which you downloaded from the internet which is in the PDF form, I would highly recommend you to get the PDF file converted into a EPUB because when you uh, transfer PDF files into the Kindle, uh, for loading the files and waving the files, you have to zoom it by using two fingers. So it destroys the experience of reading on a Kindle. But if you are just, uh, it is a normal document uh, that you can do. But if you are going for books, I will recommend you to download books which are in the EPUB format or simply convert the book which you have in the PDF format into EPUB. It is simple to convert it, just to Google uh, PDF, uh, convert PDF to EPUB and then easily you will be able to do that. And also if you have an Android device or iOS device, you can also use the Kindle app for Android and then just share the PDF or whatever file which you have into the Kindle app and once anything gets into the Kindle app, it will be synced across all of your uh, Kindle Amazon devices. There is also a Chrome extension which you like. Uh, you can just simply install this Chrome extension which is there and once you have installed this, you can directly send a particular link which is there and it will get uh, send into the Kindle and on the history it will show the web pages which are there for 30 days. The easiest way to send from any device is just go into the settings of your Kindle and then go into your, your account section and there you will find the send to Kindle email. This email directly works. You can send any PDF files, ePub files directly into that email and just you will get an email from Amazon on the same account that someone has sent this file. Do you want to get it approved and show it in on, on your Kindle? So just click on yes and authenticate and just refresh your Kindle or sync it from the notification bar and you will get all of it into the thing as well. As you can see, this is how you can find the email which is there and you can also change your email or add anything. This is the official way for sending the files on Kindle devices and if you don't want to use this official way such as uploading and all this stuff, you can directly connect a Kindle to your uh, uh, desktop which is there. That also I will show you. So as you can see, this is the another way in which you can transfer the files on your Kindle using the USB cable method. So I've just connected the Kindle into the uh, Mac system and on the Kindle it says that it has entered the USB drive mode. And if you want to read or shop on a Kindle while continuing the charge over USB, please keep the USB cable attached but eject your Kindle from your computer. But now we are not going to eject it because we need to send some files. As you can see, it also has a pop-up of broken display cover that you can do and it will also fix that. As you can see, it will show you all the books which are there. As you can see, the Kindle has been connected into the system and it is showing connected to Amazon Kindle. Here it is showing 7 books 
it will only show the books which you have downloaded onto your Kindle device. All the other books which are present in the cloud, those will not be shown. So, for example, I have this book which was downloaded over here, and I can even edit it, save to this, remove it, or even uh, manage collection, or even show any matching book. So, as you can see, you can directly create a virtual library over here by using the add books feature, and wherever the file is there, it will get added. And after that, you just need to use a send to device feature in order to send it to your Kindle. So this method is for the ones who are advanced and know exactly what they are doing and maybe want to tweak something. Maybe you want to change the cover of your book or make any changes or maybe convert books to a particular format which is there. So this software is for that. It is kind of advanced software for those who know what they are doing. But if you just have to simply send a file wirelessly, I would say the first method which was there sent to Kindle that is the one of the best methods that you can use and just as I told you earlier just uh, convert your PDF to EPUB if it is a book and if it is a normal document that you want to view on a Kindle or maybe some images uh, PDF would directly work and you can just zoom in and out as per your preferences so these were the two methods which you can use in order to transfer the files from your desktop into your Kindle and both methods have their ease variability that was it for the video i hope that you found this guide very useful and now you'll be able to send and receive files inside a kindle using any of this method and thereby you are no longer restricted to using the amazon uh, web store in order to purchase any epubs or so on you can directly use any open source libraries which are there and provide free titles to read and you can directly transfer them into a kindle with very easily and get started to read more and more without thing on your pockets as well so let me know if you have any doubts in the comments below and i will surely help you up with that as well thanks for watching see you in the next video